anyone who is able or willing to sit on the floor to come and sit close by. Come sit close by. Anyone who's able or willing to come close. And I mean close. As close as you can. And even move your chair close. I know it's disruptive. It's okay, close. You can come if you see an NPC, come closer. And we sit close together um, in the yoga tradition. The teachings are offered and shared in community and in proximity. So those of you who aren't so close, be as close as you can. You might not be able to see me when I sit down. If you're way far away, you can come closer. This is what I do in yoga class. I go into yoga class. I'm like, come closer. Leave your mat. Come closer. Everyone's like, and then they start to love it. I have to have a good look at you. By way of recognizing a profoundly inspiring beauty. Turn to your own breath. Yoga is an invitation to the life of the awakened heart. And when I, just a few months before I started my own um, practice, really, when I talk about yoga, I'm not just talking about the physical practices, although that's a, a big part of what I do. I'm also talking about all, like a vast, vast tradition of techniques, strategies, ways, teachings to access the deepest core of the human heart. So uh, just before I started my yoga practice, like 16 something years ago, um, I'd been reading, I'd finished my degree and I was working in the art world and I had uh, been reading a book by Roland Barthes. Has anyone heard of this writer? I read a book called Camera Lucida and in it I read a quote that particularly like, jumped right off the page at me. And the quote was, to get out, go in deeper. You guys have heard him. To get out, go in deeper. And unwittingly, I put this at the very front of my little notebook in which I wrote all my notes about art that I'd looked at, and phone numbers from people I'd met, because I was a real networker in those days. And uh, I realize now that, that that was the invitation that I made to myself. To get out, go in deeper. It's a very yogic maxim. It's a very yogic maxim. Um, Within a month, I was running to a meditation class. Um, so to get out going deeper, has anyone here ever been angry or angry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Do you ever get a little depressed? Better yet, do you ever want, do you have any of those issues in your life where it's like, um, recurs? It kind of, different face, same issue, right? Different face, same story being told. You watch how that unfolds in your life again and again and again. Anyone have one where it makes you feel like this? Yeah? Anyone? I mean, really, you should let me know. <laughs> Can you remember a past time where you had that before you, yeah, right, okay. So I'm going to ask you to do something. I'm going to ask you to attune to that. Just have a moment. You can even close your eyes and call it to your heart, call it to your body mind. And you may feel some uncomfortable feelings to get out. We go in deeper, you see. So soften your jaw. Soften the back of your eyes. The life of the awakened heart is the practice of stepping in more and more deeply to the greatest challenges of this experience of life. It's a practice of 
softening our resistance and weighing in to the depth of our experience, regardless of the content of that experience. So we attune. We begin to listen to the texture of our experience, regardless of the content. And we draw ourselves closer and closer and closer to this invitation. Because in my experience, the deepest contractions, the deepest contractions of our lives also are the, the most profound locus points for expansion in awareness. The life of the awakened heart is the life of living our deepest and most profound potential. It is the life of deeply listening and rather than moving around or moving away from or trying to go in some other direction, we go directly into the depth of our experience. We create space for our experience again and again and again. Sit up tall. Take as tall a seat as you can. And become aware that here you are, because we also do this in community, here you are with this amazing group of people, with this profound opportunity It really is the most inspired, inspiring opportunity to feel the sensations in your body, to open ourselves fully. And then we have this incredible cipher, this, this, this physical tissue of the body. This is the densest layer of our consciousness, right? This is the densest aspect of ourselves. And in this yogic practice, we practice the, the art of recoding this tissue in the same way that we practice the art of listening deeply to every single movement of our life. We practice the art of recoding this tissue in the direction of empowerment, in the direction of freedom, in the direction of deepest recognition of our own beauty. Take a breath. Listen and invest in this moment. Close your eyes and draw your palms together. We draw our palms together, we sit up tall. This is the initiation to practice, an invitation to profoundly transform our manner of relating with ourselves, with the densest layer of our consciousness, the physical body, with our thoughts, with our feelings, and in every single relationship of our lives. Please feel. Taste the texture of your own awareness. Soften your eyes and jaw again. Will you answer the call? Will you take this invitation to live the life of the awakened heart? Soften 